Hello, everyone. Hello. So that video was a lot of work. And he's backstage right now. It's my friend Jay. Jay McQuana did the video. A ton of work. Give Jay a round of applause. Everyone watching virtually. That was so much work, and he did such a good job. So thank you all for being here, and good morning. My name's Ace Burpee. I get to be your host. I'm so, so stoked to be your host for our virtual assembly celebration of Winnipeg School Division's 150th anniversary. I'd like to start off by welcoming the Winnipeg School Division Senior Administration and Trustees in attendance, as well as all the students and staff and dignitaries and community members watching online, great to have you here. So can you believe this school division started, everyone, 150 years ago? That's almost as old as Manitoba and Canada, 150 years. 150 years. That's um, no. Yeah, that's almost as old as some of your teachers. I'm kidding. That is not true. In fact, fun fact, and this is especially for the younger ones, you might not know this. You know that all teachers are forever in their 30s. That's actually fact. And people don't really know this. They don't talk about it. But I'm here delivering the real news. So it was October 30th. Okay, so it would be tomorrow back in 1871 that Winnipeg opened its first public school on what is now known as Henry, Henry Street. And this school, everyone, was a single room. It was a log cabin. There was one teacher and 20 students. And today, the Winnipeg School Division has 79 schools, over 32,000 students, and almost 6,000 full and part-time employees. This, everyone, is not on my script, but I would be very disappointed with myself if I didn't talk about. Everyone who works at a school, whether it's an EA, whether it's admin, a teacher, a vice principal, a principal, you have been so amazing over the past two years, and hopefully you know that. All the things you've had to change every, right, you get back into a routine, and then that routine changes again, and you've done such an amazing job, and I hope you remind yourself of that. We value you so much and we thank you. We'll never be able to thank you enough. It's been so trying and you've worked so, so hard and you have your personal lives and your, your own mental health to think of. You've done an incredible job. So thank you from, on behalf of literally thousands and thousands in this province. Out of respect for the indigenous people of Manitoba, we at the Winnipeg School Division recognize Schools we attend reside on Treaty 1 land, known as First Nations territory, as well as the homeland of the Métis Nation. We are now going to hear a version of O Canada that, this is really cool. Shout out to CBC. They recorded it. It was created by the TechVoc broadcasting students. This multilingual version of O Canada will include English, French, Cree, Ojibwe, and Tagalog, and performed by former students Faith Beige and Melody Richards. If you are able, uh, please stand for the playing of O Canada. Tasky, 
tremendous. If you are in your uh, classroom and you're like, that was amazing, I feel like we should clap. You can clap. Absolutely. That was really well done. Really well done. Um, please welcome. We'll have greetings from board chair Betty Adele. We will also hear from Chief Super Superintendent and CEO Pauline Clark, as well as Elder and Traditional Knowledge Keeper Myra Laramie. Please welcome Betty and Pauline and Myra. Good morning and welcome honored guests, students, parents and staff, both here in person at Tech Falk High School and those of you joining us online for this very special launch event taking place on Treaty 1 territory and the homeland of the Métis Nation. On behalf of my colleagues of the Winnipeg School Division Board of Trustees, I am honoured to bring greetings to all students, parents, community members, partners and staff at today's official launch of the Winnipeg School Division's 150th anniversary celebrations. I would like to acknowledge all former and current staff for their outstanding contributions and dedication to the delivery of an education system that continues to meet the societal demands of preparing our students for learning in the 21st century. I am proud of the leadership and achievements of Winnipeg School Division has made in education by continuing to provide innovative programming, policies and practices, professional development and various initiatives that allow students to continue lifelong learning and be successful in their life journeys. I am thankful to be a member of a board that is mindful of the importance of equity, diversity and inclusivity in all that we undertake. I am grateful to all the partnerships that have contributed to the su success of the Winnipeg School Division. Thank you for joining us today as we celebrate 150 years of learning in the Winnipeg community. We look forward to a continued journey of embracing the opportunities open to us for improvement through involvement of the students, staff, parents and community partners. Welcome. It's my honour and pleasure to celebrate with you today the 150th anniversary of the Winnipeg School Division. 150 years ago, the first school in the Winnipeg School Division opened on the corner of Maple and Common Street, now known as Henry. It was in a log cabin and 20 students attended. The teacher was called William Luxton. And those of you who are watching at Luxton School now know why your school is named Luxton. In 1873, there were 1,800 people living in Winnipeg. That's the size of Sisler High School today. Over the last 150 years, the Winnipeg School Division has grown in size to over 30,000 students, 78 schools. And those schools are offering a complete range of programs that were never even thought of 150 years ago. We have technology, we have aerospace programs, we have nursery, we have nutrition, we have early childhood programs. We have so many programs that are trying to meet the needs of all of our students and that will continue to change into the future. And thanks to the commitment of the staff of the Winnipeg School Division and the Board of Trustees, our creative ideas and innovative programs are flourishing. Over the years, we've welcomed so many students from all parts of the globe into Winnipeg and we've provided programming for them so that they can learn and be successful in ways that matter to them. We're not sure what the next 150 years will bring, except we know it will mean change. And the Winnipeg School Division, with our innovative staff and creative staff and families and students who bring their thoughts to what we should be doing as well, will be up to that challenge. It's really my pleasure to be here today to celebrate 150 years of the Winnipeg School Division Bonjour, my name is Myra Laramie. In English, I have a spirit name 
Neil Gavwick, which is a woman that sits the set at the Center for Directions. And I also have a second public name, which is Okejitakwe, the woman who stands in front. My clan, my family, is the Bear Clan. And we say that in Cree, we say Masqua. So I've told you who I am, and I've got probably less than a minute left. But I want to tell everyone, in joy and in honor, that I have worked in this school division for 51 years out of the 150. That's one third of the years that this division has been alive. I also want you to know that I went to school in this school division, and so have all my sisters and now my grandchildren. So it's, it's a family affair. And um, my sister and I were talking last night about how many uh, children are going to Winnipeg School Division from our family, and there's a lot. We have an exceptional staff. We have exceptional students. Look at what they're doing. They're growing and they're learning. And they could, we couldn't ask for anything better. We have young people out here throwing the ball and, and talking with each other from all different nations. How better can you get than that? And my one granddaughter is taking a bilingual program in Cree. She's now in her fourth year of, of the Cree program. Um, you, sometimes you can't even get that on your home reserve. And we have it here. We have all kinds of bilingual programs here that the children can learn from. We have, we have an enormous, enormous expanse of possibilities. And what we ask ourselves on a regular basis, if this child, if these young people graduated from this division, would they have received the most well-rounded, inclusive, respectful, and anti-racist education possible? And I've been here long enough to know the answer to that is yes. And I'm very, very proud and very, very honored to be a member of this Winnipeg School Division family and team. Thank you. Thank you for giving me that. It's been a, it's been a treasure and a blessing. Miigwech. All right. Yeah, give it up for Betty and Pauline and Myra. Spoke so beautifully. Uh, you know what I was going to shout out at the beginning? I don't know about y'all watching uh, in your classroom, but balloons rule. Shout out uh, Dream Day Decor. You did a wonderful job on the balloons, and thank you. Um, side note, everyone. If you're watching at home, okay? The Winnipeg School Division is running a WSD 150 Find Yourself contest. So if you are a student or staff member featured in this photo, oh, I see. Well, that looks so fun, by the way. You're so adorable. Did that person know that was happening to their truck? That rule. Is it an I love to read truck? Oh, I love it. Oh, this is good. Okay, so if you see yourself in a photo, then you can email communicationswsd at gmail.com. Communicationswsd at gmail.com. And uh, so if you see yourself in a photo, you can receive an exclusive WSD 150 souvenir. Just put your school name and find yourself contest in the subject line. That is adorable. Uh, in celebration of 150 years of learning, a number of schools planted trees. Now, I'm a, an enormous tree guy. I love trees. And I got to participate in uh, the One Million Tree Challenge hosted by Trees Winnipeg. And so a bunch of different schools planted trees to commemorate the milestone event. So a big thank you to John Dobbin and his family. They funded all the trees. Let's give it up for John. And uh, so those trees will be registered in that One Million Tree Challenge hosted by Trees Winnipeg. Shout out to Trees Winnipeg. 
and the Winnipeg School Division is committed to supporting sustainability and giving back to the community. And in the spring, we're going to continue planting trees for a total of 150 trees, thanks to an additional donation through Science Rendezvous, which they sound fun. What are these? Oh, this is trees. That was trees. I'll be honest, the video is very well done. There's so much. It's so good. Everyone's so organized, by the way. Shout out. We're at Tech Vok right now. I don't know if you'll, y'all, uh, at, like, back in your classroom know where we are, but Tech Vok is awesome. And there's so many smart people here, and I love it. Uh, okay, we have a performance. Listen, I could read this, or I'll, I'll, I'll do like a balance. Some amazing, amazing things written here. He's also uh, a friend of mine, and I love him. We have a performance from Don Amaro. So Don is an engaging storyteller, singer, songwriter, performer, three-time Juno Award nominee, by the way. And he's been tirelessly touring and performing and speaking across Canada for the last decade. Don Amaro is of Cree and Métis heritage. He's been recognized for it for his advocacy work within Indigenous communities and beyond. This year, he was named the first ever advisor and chair of the CCMA Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion Committee. And as talented as uh, Don Amaro is, which he is incredibly gifted, he is just an incredible person, and he's so giving of his time and talents, and he's uh, open to speak about things that uh, help others on their journey in life, and I just adore him. So please welcome Don Amaro and enjoy. Hi, everybody. I'm Don Amaro. I am a former Sislerite Spartan, Sisler alumni. It's been since the 90s since I was there, but uh, I still call Winnipeg home. We're actually right now shooting my next music video out here in Birds Hill Park. And uh, I just wanted to take a moment just to say how grateful I am for my years at Sisler. Uh, you know, my whole artistic kind of career uh, started back then. Uh, I was in the dance world, was in the musical theater world, and I actually it was all through high school. I started singing and writing songs, um, and uh, although I didn't mention that much in my years at Sisler, but obviously it led me down a good way, and, uh, and I'm now uh, a full-time musician. I've been doing this now full-time for about 14 years. This song that I'm going to share with you right now is one we recorded not too long ago at a studio here in Winnipeg, a studio called No Fun Club, uh, which is the opposite of what it is because it's a lot of fun. And my friends John and Dylan helped me out on this one. It's all about sort of always making sure that you find that spark with inside yourself. Never give up on you, even when the world seems so hard and it seems like, you know, nothing's going to work out. I'm living proof that you can overcome anything and any trials and tribulations that you're going through in your life. Just keep pressing on. Probably won't give up. But that ain't me no 
Isn't that guy so cool? That's Don Amaro, and he is awesome. Um, okay, I would like to welcome now to introduce a digital timeline video. Vice Principal at King Edward Community School. Let's give it up for Lindsay Young. Good morning, everyone. All right, I hope you're all ready for another round of Find Yourself because we have two more pictures. Oh, I recognize that school. So if you see yourself in one of these pictures, make sure you email communication at, or pardon me, communicationwsd at gmail.com with your school name and find yourself contest as the subject to claim your WSD 150 souvenir. Good luck, everyone. To commemorate the Winnipeg School Division's 150th anniversary, an interactive digital timeline has been created that celebrates significant events in the history of the school division and its communities. Staff and students from every school work together to research and collect stories, facts, and images that capture long-lasting memory of the evolution and progress of our schools, programs, people, relationships, and events in 150 years of learning. The actual interactive digital timeline is constructed by students at Sisler High School supervised by their teacher, Bernard Ali Budbud. A video of each school accompanies the timeline. School videos are filmed and edited by Jed Orlino, a graduate of Sisler High School. Many, many hours were spent in the collection, <clears throat> pardon me, of information, organization, filming, and building the interactive timeline. Today, you will see the final timeline videos for Elmwood High School, Harrow School, and a call J.B. Mitchell School. Enjoy. Through these halls walk giants. Since the name was changed from Eskimos, that occurred in 1990. These giants have excelled in the arts, in athletics, and in contributing to a positive, multicultural, inclusive dynamic. Our student artists have created many murals that beautify our hallways and the Elmwood community. The community support of our school and the alumni, support from the Legacy Committee is greatly appreciated. Summer and Winter Olympians and Elmwood alumni Clara Hughes won medals in speed skating and cycling and is the only athlete to ever win multiple medals in both games. Her efforts to bring mental health to the forefront surpass her Olympic success and is something she has addressed at Elmwood. The Claire Hughes Olympic Spirit Award means a lot to our student athletes. Harrow School is located in the River Heights area of Winnipeg, Manitoba at 550 Harrow Street. Harrow is a nursery through grade 6 school with a current population of approximately 185 students. The school was constructed in 1952 as a single-story, nine-classroom facility and the school opened for classes in January of 1953. In 1955, a four-classroom addition was built and a second addition was built in 1962. Another addition to the building in 1975 served as a recreation component operated by the City of Winnipeg's Park and Recreation for the community and the division has since acquired this space as an integral part of the school building. The staff at Harrow School are committed to providing students with the opportunity to learn and to thrive in a safe environment of acceptance and encouragement. Respect is the norm and its facilitators are there to help the children achieve their potential and become contributing members of society. At Harrow School, individual differences are promoted and the diversity of cultures and lifestyles are welcomed and respected. This involves the cooperation of staff and parents in programming for the academic, social, and emotional needs of each child. The staff is committing to provided instruction of the highest quality. Harrow School has a large EAL and newcomer population with a strong community support.
Ekal J.B. Mitchell School is an inclusive environment highly committed to the academic and social growth of all learners. Located in River Heights, J.B. Mitchell houses a dual track English and French immersion program. There are approximately 400 students who attend from nursery to grade six. We benefit from a strong parent community group which supports our numerous school activities. An educational team of more than 40 staff maintains a strong focus on literacy and numeracy goals. Innovation, creativity, communication, and opportunities to collaborate and think critically are embedded throughout the learning day. We remain firmly committed to Indigenous education, social justice, and reconciliation. The administration is committed to maintaining professional learning communities that empower and build capacity among staff members. J.B. Mitchell is a culturally diverse community which provides numerous learning opportunities today for its leaders of tomorrow. Okay, now, this is super fun, by the way, and I thank, I said at the beginning how stoked I was that I was asked to do this. I want to say that again, so thank you. I love it. I appreciate it very much. It's always nice to be asked. It really is. Uh, speaking of nice, um, to introduce the celebration of the art video, program lead, Sophia Costantini, and I love her. And here's how you know she's a true friend. She always asks how my dog is doing. And I'm like, that's just the sweetest. So please welcome Sophia. Good morning. Well, let's look at two more photos and see if you can find yourself in these photos. Here's picture number one. Remember to email us at communicationswsd at gmail.com to receive an exclusive WSD 150 souvenir. Add your name and your school and find yourself contest in the subject line. Wow, there's a lot of students in that one. The Winnipeg School Division has been celebrating arts in the schools as long as it has existed. It has evolved from predominantly handbells, band, and choral ensembles to guitar, dance, drama, and orf, just to name a few more. The arts plays a huge role in student engagement, self-expression, and creativity. To pick three performances from all the amazing schools and genres would have been impossible, so instead, we decided to compile and celebrate the work of everyone in the last five years. Enjoy.
Okay, that was amazing. Some, uh, playing some instruments, I saw some drama. There was obviously a lot of choir slash vocal performances. There was dance off the top. You know what I haven't shared with anyone? I started taking during the pandemic ballet lessons on YouTube. Yeah. Because my niece in Toronto, she, do you want me to show you? I only know one ballet move so far. I don't even know why I'm taking off my jacket. You can do ballet with a jacket on. but so Yeah, my niece in Toronto, she's nine. She was taking uh, ballet. So I thought, I'll take ballet on YouTube. And then we can talk about ballet together. So, uh, it's, yeah, I haven't progressed that much, but I'll show you my one jacketless, apparently, ballet move. Does the camera go this way? Everyone, this is Ballet by Ace Burpee. They're really uh, big into how you place your arms in ballet, right? Because at first I'd walk out, I'd be like, but they're like, no, get, you got to focus on, uh, on your arms and hands, man. That's it. That's it. And I've only pulled my hamstring like nine times so far in seven lessons, which is pretty good. Ballet's cool. All right, now we are, um, we'd like to welcome Joyce Wong, Director of Transitional Planning and the Chair of the WSD 150 committee. Let's give it up for Joyce before she even comes out because she was the chair of the committee and it's so much work. Um, Joyce will uh, do the presentation of the celebration banners and the unveiling of everyone, the 150 celebration book. Joyce. Thank you, Ace. Good morning. So we have two more pictures for you. You know what to do. Find yourself. Are you in the picture? Are you in the picture? Are you in the picture? Email communication WSD at gmail.com with your name and find yourself contest in the subject line. Good luck. The Winnipeg School Division, in the spring of 2021, schools and programs collaborated with the school community to design banners as a lead up to this day. Each banner represented important aspects about the school or the program. It engaged students, staff, and the community members in meaningful learning about the history of the school and the program. Each banner is unique, many highlighting colors of the school, their emblem, their motto, and or their mascot. Some schools completed their banners by hand, whereupon a professional photographer from Techwalk High School, Ron Gilfillan, who's here today, took photos of it while others created it digitally. 
Many banners had to be revised due to printing specification. And special thanks to TechLock digital media teacher, Justin McGilvery, who over the summer revised many of the banners and even recreated logos for schools. In total, 81 banners were created and installed on lamp posts in the downtown, in the West End, and the Cordon Biz neighborhoods. We invite you to take a walk or a drive in, in the neighborhoods down Portage Avenue, down Main Street, down Notre Dame, um, down Corridon Avenue to view the spectacular banners by Winnipeg School Division students, staff, and community members. The Winnipeg School Division is especially appreciative and thankful to the biz organizations for their sponsorship. Thank you. The commemorative book, the Winnipeg School Division Celebrating 150 Years, is a collaborative project involving students, staff, and community members of 78 schools and six programs. The cover, this cover represents a black chalkboard with subtle chalk marks across its surface. This book is a chronological history of the Winnipeg School Division, schools and programs from the very first school in 1871 to the latest school built this year, Waterford Springs, in 2021. Programs such as Indigenous Education, Inclusion Support Services, Clinical Student Services, Newcomer Services, International Education, and much more are highlighted in the book. Students, staff, and the community have done an extraordinary job in gathering information for our writers. The layout designers and I have learned so much about the Winnipeg School Division and the many, many, many interesting stories of student learning. It is a really fantastic read. The book is available for purchase on the Division website and a book launch is being planned with McNally Robinson in the new year. At this time, I would like to invite Anita Neville 150 committee representative, as well as former school board chair, to present copies of the book to school board chair Betty Adele and chief superintendent and CEO Pauline Clark. Somebody missed his cue. Named me. <laughs> Did I see Anita? Where was Anita? Hi. Nice to see you. I voted for you before. I did. Yeah. I used to tell people my roommate was Anita Neville because there was always a brochure on my fridge. There was. It was awesome. Uh, okay, so if um, you can all remain on the stage, we are um, going to present you with a cake. We've had a cake backstage the whole time, everyone. True, everyone's been very well behaved. Very well behaved. And we'll have uh, an alumni from Daniel Mack. Maria Aragon will sing us happy birthday. 
my name is Maria Aragon and I was a student in the Winnipeg School Division for 13 years at Isaac Brock School and Daniel McIntyre Collegiate Institute, both in the West End. I'm so happy to say that I've come from both those schools and I'm also so grateful and thankful to all of the teachers and staff who taught me, guided me, and supported me to where I am today. Um, it's a special day and I'm going to be singing a little something to celebrate. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy WSD. Did you notice how carefully she pushed the birthday cake onto the stage as to not have the candles blow out? That was very well done. Very well done. That was elite. That is a resilient candle. It sends a message to the world. That was amazing. All right, now we clap. All right, we got it. We got it. Um, I don't know, this is going to be uh, awkward, but they've been crushing it. Backstage, uh, Ian and Fiore have been sort of running everything. And uh, we're going to invite them out and give them a round of applause. Ian and yeah. Yeah. We got to keep it up because they, they didn't know they were coming out. And then very awkward, but they deserve it because they were. Look, these two keeping everything on track, keeping in contact with the sound and the video. So thank you both. Great job. Really great job. I told you it'd be awkward, but you just got to do it. Uh, next, we have anniversary wishes from alumni around the world and partners of the Winnipeg School Division. So thank you, everyone who contributed to the video. And TechVoc Broadcasting compiled all the wishes, which is a ton of work. So let's check it out. Congratulations to the Winnipeg School Division's 150th anniversary. I'm Clara Hughes, a six-time Olympic medalist in speed skating and cycling, and I'm an alumni of Elmwood High School. We're here to wish the Winnipeg School Division a happy 150th birthday. Happy birthday. Happy 150th birthday, Winnipeg School Division. Happy 150th anniversary, Winnipeg School Division. You don't look a day over 149. Hello, uh, my name is John Gerard. I'm the member of the legislature for River Heights. Uh, I want to congratulate the Winnipeg School Division on a very successful 150 years. The for a whole lot of fun to all from Sveria. Happy birthday, 150 years from Sweden. Happy birthday. Happy anniversary, 150 years, Winnipeg School Division. G'day guys, just wishing you a happy 150th birthday celebration from Down Under in Australia. Happy 150th from London, England. I live in Brooklyn, New York. We are in Central Park right now. I work for the United Nations and I attended Wolseley School until 2008. Happy 150th anniversary. Happy 150! The Winnipeg Art Gallery is thrilled to have worked with Winnipeg School Division for 85 years, wishing you all the best. Happy birthday, WSD. Happy birthday, Winnipeg School Division. My name is Lindsay Mainville, and I wanted to say congratulations, Winnipeg School Division, for celebrating 150 years of success. Happy 150th anniversary, Winnipeg School Division, from all of us at Manitoba Theatre for Young People. I just want to say congratulations to the Winnipeg School Division for 150 years of education. Of course, uh, the Winnipeg School Division, a very happy 150th birthday. 
Happy 150th anniversary to the Winnipeg School Division. Hello everyone, Aiko Vidal here, graduated from Sisler in 2018. And these are the schools that I've attended. And cheers to WC 150! I like that a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, okay, we do have another photo where you see if you can find yourself in said photo. Remember, email communicationswsd at gmail.com to receive an exclusive 150 souvenir. Add your school name and find yourself contest in the subject line. Communicationswsd at gmail.com. This looks like a hilarious scene. I feel, I'll be honest. I bet you this song was amazing. That's truly what I think. I don't even know what that is. What's the instrument in the front? Cello? No. Cello? That is fun. If you see yourself in that photo, then email communicationswsd at gmail.com. I want to um, thank you all for um, all you've done over these 150 years. To all the students, we wish you all the best. Thank you for joining us. Um, we'd like to thank our sponsors. You were amazing. Thank you so, so much. Our special guests in attendance today, all of our staff, all of our dignitaries, Lisa Naylor, thank you. Jerry Rollins, thank you. Uh, all our community members, we appreciate you so, so much. One final Happy 150th anniversary to the Winnipeg School Division. All the best and look after yourself. Thank you.